Yo, shut up, ABC boy, Nindo so back with another JP Dokkan battle video, and this is just a video of me talking. Most videos, I'm doing action, you know, you know, gameplay, but I just wanted to talk. Now, I'm not the best talker, I ain't gonna lie to you, so if you don't like it, just get out, leave, go somewhere else. But I'm gonna try my best, I got some thoughts in my mind about part 2 of the celebration, I'm loving Worldwide Celebration so far, so let's pop the intro to the video and get right in. Alright, so just to start off, with the um, celebration, I'm loving um, pretty much everything so far. They've done good with the missions, the two units are extremely good. The rainbow tickets, you know, well the rainbow stones, they could have been better with the prices, but you know, eh, make it make or break you. They got the free-to-play Zarbon, who I'm hoping is actually good when he turns into the Doria. And I'm just going down the list of just basic stuff we've gotten. And the Ginyu EZAs, which are going to be incoming. Um, we already got Raditz. I'm sorry. Um, Raditz actually be a topic in the video. We already got Raccoon and Gilda, which is also pretty good. And just a whole bunch of stuff. Boss Rush, you know, all the missions and story events are back, etc, 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 etc. And Extreme Freezes EZA. Now you might be thinking, um, hey Nindo, isn't that enough for you? Um, aren't you satisfied? No! Not yet. Now, with Worldwide Celebrations, we always get a part two. Um, you know, um, last Worldwide Celebration, we had Super Vegito and we had, um, Buhan. We had a part two, and the part two LR was, um, Vegeta. So it was pretty, you know, close to the arc, and, you know, it was pretty tied to, like, you know, what happened before, so Majin Buu Saga LR is another Majin Buu Saga LR, it made sense. Now, for the part 2 of this LR, I'm not quite sure what they can do, because they already did Frieza and Gyoku. Now, in my opinion, we still need a final form Frieza, that's one. Um, that's not full power off the jump. We do have the STR one, but he's like okay-ish in my- well, not okay-ish. Yeah, I say he's okay in my opinion. In terms of a side unit, he's aged a little bit, but he still has the damage. Physical Kaioken Goku's also a thing. I should probably be pulling these things up as I talk. Physical Kaioken Goku's also a thing. I love Physical Kaioken Goku. He's a really good unit as well. But, like, as a side unit, I would say, like, he's okay-ish. Because when you pin him to the side of, like, let's say, Int, um, third form Frieza here, who's on the Frieza banner, um... You can see a massive, like, you know, oh my god, not that one, Jesus Christ. Holy hell. Now, I'm gonna pull up this freezer in just a second. But when you think about the, um, Intelligence third form freezer, you can see a massive difference in, like, the firepower. So, like, um, if they ease a physical Kyle King Goku, that would be cool, they could do that. But, you know, we have units like this who are side units now, who do amazing damage. I actually think this guy's up to par with STR Cooler. Which is going to be insane to say, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. So, Physical Kaioken Goku is amazing, but he could use an easy A. Maybe we'll see that in Part 2, or maybe for like the STR Final from Frieza I was talking about. Um, we'll see something for the STR Final from Frieza, which would be cool as well. Um, otherwise, for the Part 2, the thing I'm thinking about is what they're going to do with the LR. Because, like, you know, with Goku... They could make another base form Goku, but I really feel like STR Namek Goku is going to get an easy A already, if I'm honest with you. Um, I'm really confident in this unit getting an easy A. Like, I'm extremely confident in it. He's aged, um, pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um, if he could stack some defense better, that'd be amazing. If he could transform the Super Saiyan better, that'd be amazing. That 70% or less is always going to bother me. And his main thing is being in long events. So, I mean, um, you know, that's cool, but, like, you know, it could be better. So, long story short, that part 2 LR is going to have to live up to the hype that's, you know, STR Vegeta or, like, um, Buhan. Like, you know, physical base form Vegeta, when, people, when he first came out, people went crazy over this guy, and I can't blame them. Um, just the unit himself and not how good he is. Just like the aesthetics and everything, people went crazy for this guy. Um, I was one of those people. I loved, I loved this unit, and like he's not as good as the main DFE LRs, but he's, you know, he's a pretty beautiful unit all, like all around. He's a pretty beautiful unit. So, um, if we get into part two for this, um, let's take Goku and Frieza out the picture. 
and say they don't do a final form Frieza or a Kaoken Goku. I mean, they could do like a base form side Vegeta, I guess, which would stay close to like, you know, it would stay close to like the saga, but at the same time, it would be... I don't know. I don't know if it lives up to the hype that it'll be like, you know, physical LR Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta level. Like, they could do a Scouter Vegeta. And besides that, I really can't think of much that would live up to the hype. Now, one thing they did show um, when they were doing the live stream for the Dokkan Now, um, they showed some Saiyan Saga stuff. Now, it was really miniature stuff, but it was still stuff. This is mainly for Dokkan Battle version Z. And what I see in here, I see in Saiyan Saga Goku, I see in Saiyan Saga Piccolo, and I see in Saiyan Saga Raditz really sticking out to me. Now, even before this Dokkan Now stuff came and they showed this, I was praying, 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 praying that they do something with Saiyan Saga. They really need to do something with Saiyan Saga, like they really, really need to do it. Whether it's a celebration next, or the celebration after, or the celebration after. They need to do something with Saiyan Saga and I would love it. So, down to the point of my video, like I said, it's my first time doing a video like this, so if I'm doing bad or rambling, just tell me to shut up, or just leave. The door's right there. But anyway, continuing. Um, they made this new Tech Piccolo here. So, it's like... I don't know about you guys, I just don't like this Piccolo. I wish he was better, and I wish his defense was better. He maxed out like a 200k defense, that's not enough. His attack stat maxes out like 2.6 million, which is not enough compared to the third form Frieza. So they could do something with Piccolo, but the only thing with Piccolo is that he's a Namekian. So he's going to be limited to mostly the Namekian category, or you know, like a Saiyan Saga category. But if they do make a new Piccolo that like leads a Saiyan Saga team, I think that could work and take him off this, you know... It could take him off this branch, because the only reason why, like, for example, Physical Piccolo works um, is because he leaves worthy rivals. So if they do make a new Piccolo, that would be cool. Um, a Goku would be exceptional. We have, like, no Saiyan Saga Raditz Gokus, I believe. I don't think we have one. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, there's not a single Saiyan Saga Raditz Goku whatsoever. So if they do something with that, I would greatly appreciate it, and that would be good as well. Um, if they do like a dual LR maybe, with the, you know, this LR being a thing, that'd be cool as well. But then again, um, I don't see them doing it again so early. They could pull it off, but at the same time, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I think it'd be too early. These units are actually pretty good. I slept, I slept in them for quite a bit and they're actually pretty good. Um, Raditz. Raditz. This guy. Raditz. Raditz. Um, <laughs> His, um... <laughs> the Tech Raditz is really good. The Ince one is good as well, I'm not gonna lie, for a World Tournament, jokes aside. But Tech Raditz is really good. Um, In terms of the Raditz we have in the game, we don't have much, so I have to go off this guy. He's a monster in Super Battle Road. Um, you can use him in long events, and he has a high chance to stun. And um, against any Goku family enemy, he has a critical um, hit, or an Emekians. If you find an Emekian in game. But anyway, um, really good unit. I could just really see an LR for this unit, I'm not gonna lie. I know Raditz is more of like a side, um, I wanna say a side villain. Yeah, he was like a side villain in his arc, but they could do something with Raditz. I really believe they could do something in Raditz. Turn this guy into an LR, make him really top notch, and like go like far beyond and like make this guy like a really, 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 really good unit. And it would really help low class warriors as well. Because low class warriors is really um I think the name for the category itself basically describes um what I would say anyway. So like low class warriors is really like low class. It's not something you really run or say, hey, I can't wait to run a low class warriors team. It's really something they can do. Um there's really stuff they can do with this category. And as I said, there's no Saiyan Saga Gokus here, because if there was a Saiyan Saga Goku, he would be in this category. Since he was considered us, you know, well, besides this, like, Batuden one, um, he was considered a Saiyan Saga, um, unit still, or Saiyan Saga character at the moment. So, I mean, yeah, I would really like something Saiyan Saga related. I'm not sure about you guys, um, it would be really cool. The Raditz Saga was short, um, but there's a lot of things they could pull from it. Now, um, Saiyan Saga also does include Vegeta, and I didn't mention that Scouter Vegeta, um, earlier. But that would be a different Vegeta. 
if they go with the great ape and like you know goku vegeta type of beat that would be completely astounding and i think people go crazy for that but i can see them saving that for later which is why i'm talking about raditz saga specifically and i may actually talk about the vegeta saga um Saiyan saga in another video because if they do that that's just that's just something on its own <laughs> that's just that's just something on its own if they do that like we already got super vegeta if they do anything with this bay form vegeta or like you know uh how can goku from the Saiyan saga that'd be amazing that'd be amazing that'd be amazing but yeah this video was really unorganized i do apologize i'm gonna try to get better with these as i go it's gonna be a learning experience for me but if you guys could pick out anything I did wrong, like, feel free. Or just leave, like I said. But anyway, much love to you guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. This is your boy Nindo XO signing off. If you guys have any thoughts about how you would feel about a Saiyan Saga Part 2, drop it in the comments. Let me see what's up. And we can talk. We can have a little chit-chat, you heard? Anyway, much love, guys. Peace!